Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn here again in Fallout 4. And I'm shooting this video because the number one comment I get from viewers who watch my settlement builds is how I got all my settlers. They ask me, am I using a mod? Am I using some sort of hack? Am I cheating in some way? And the answer is no. I'm using everything that's available in the game. Uh, and I'll show you how I do it. So, first of all, let's take a look at stats. And you see I've got 13 charisma. Now, let's, let's take off everything that is giving me extra charisma. Just take off all my armor. There. So I'm not wearing anything. And take a look at my charisma. It's only 9. It's not even that high. I've only got 9 in charisma. That's with the bobblehead. I think I started with 8. <clears throat> then I went and got the bobblehead and I got 9. Now, there are certain pieces of clothing that give you charisma. Uh, one is the black rim glasses. It gives you 1 charisma. As you can see, it's up to 10. The next is the trilby hat gives you one charisma. Now, there are also, here, let me go to my wardrobe. There are also um, a variety of, of different outfits in the game that um, give you um, all sorts of stats. Here's the army fatigues, and it gives you one strength, one agility, and um, the bathrobe gives you two charisma. Now, there's one piece of clothing, and I forget, checkered shirt and slacks. There you go. That gives you two charisma as well. Anyway, one of these outfits, and I forget which one, gives you two charisma, and it allows you to wear armor on top of it. Now, I'm using this dress. It's called the Adam Katz outfit. It, it, is a, it is from a mod, and it gives me two charisma, but that's no more charisma than you can um, get from just a regular outfit in the game. So pretend for now that this is some other outfit, like the, the shirt and slacks. Um, so, looking at our stats now, and we're up to 13 charisma. Now, there are um, legendary or unique items in the game called sharp. So the, the game automatically generates a variety of different legendary stats and applies it to armor when it drops off legendary ar uh, enemies. As you can see, the sharp set gives you one charisma and intelligence. Now, I've been playing the game for a very long time, and so I've collected quite a lot of legendary armor. Look at all of this. Assassin, bolstering, cavaliers, chameleon, cunning, uh, duelist, exterminators, fortifying. It goes on and on and on. And I, whenever it drops, <clears throat> I always save it. I'm just a pack rat that way. And it turned out to be in my favor this time because when I realized <clears throat> that the charisma from my armor is taken into account, when your settlement cap, cap is calculated, I immediately pilfered my, my suit of armor and put on all of my sharp armor. And I wear it when I'm not in battle. This brings my charisma up to 18, right? So I'm almost, uh, uh, I'm, I'm already uh, eight, nine points above what my charisma base level is. Then you can take some different um, um, consumables. So here's a beer gives me plus one charisma. And then the king of it all is the Grape Mentats, which gives you five charisma. Going over here, take a look at our charisma, 24 charisma. So the way that the game calculates the number of settlers that it gives you is it takes your charisma and adds 10 to it. So my settler cap for each of my settlements is 34. Now, as you know from my settlement builds, I tend to make room for 36 settlers because there's there's an automaton exploit. I don't know if it's an exploit or if Bethesda really made it this way, but the automaton exploit is that um, if you finish the downloadable content, at the very end you have the option to do a radiant quest. It's a repeating quest that you can do over and over and over again. Um, it's called Robot Rogue Robot, as you can see. I do Rogue Robot a lot, over and over and over again. Look how many times I've done this quest. Anyway, this quest sends you off into the wasteland to kill some robots, and 50% of the time, you find wandering settlers. 
in that location. You can talk to them and send them to a settlement, but here's the unique thing. They don't require a charisma check. So normally when you send settlers from settlement to settlement, you can only send settlers to settlements that have not already capped their uh, their settler cap. But for some reason, when you do... Ah, oh, great. Jamaica Plain is under attack. All right, I'll go take care of it. But let me finish this video first. So when you... For some reason, when you do the Rogue's Robot quest and you find the settlers at the very end, they don't pass a charisma check, which means you can send those settlers to any settlement you want, even full ones. And that is how, ladies and gentlemen, my... My Sanctuary Hills has 70 people. <laughs> I, I send them all to Sanctuary Hills, and it's starting to get a bit laggy in there because of, I've got so many people there, but um, I've got 70 people at Sanctuary Hills because of that. It's my biggest settlement. And all of my, uh, my settlements, my next biggest is the castle. It has 50, and each of them has quite a few people. I'm hoping to get at least between 34 and 36 at each settlement. Um, anyway, so if you want to see the video that I recorded that shows you how to do the automatron exploit to get more settlers, you can do that. But this is my pro tip. If you want to get a lot of settlers, you don't even have to have capped um, charisma. Just put on a full set of sharp armor. Get yourself some grape mentats and beer. Put on a trilby hat and put on the black rim glasses and find that checkered vest and slacks and uh, you're good to go so there you go that's how I get uh, high settlers uh, in my settlements